Hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? So today what we're gonna do, um, this uh, I, I vowed a while ago to work the bugs out of this car this year. And uh, so one of the bugs that's been, been going on for a while is car stalls. And one of my driving habits is before I come to a stop, I'll um, put the car in neutral and just coast. Well, there's times um, once I get into neutral, and I'm not sure when it happens because I'm, I'm not paying attention, the car will stall. When I put the clutch in to start it, there's power, but the starter doesn't engage. So it acts like it's dead, but there's power. So this has happened several times. So my most recent outage, um, it happened to me twice. Now it's totally random. That same day or evening when I had the car out, I um, I saw it in first gear rolling really slow. And then I was actually in a parking lot um, taking some pictures. So I decided just to crank the car, see if it would start in gear and it did. So that kind of clued me that um, the neutral safety switch might be bad. So if you can see, my finger's pointing that little button right there. That's when the clutch depresses and there's a, a little bracket on the pedal. I don't know if you can see it. That depresses that. That makes that connection so it will uh, um, start the car. I realize that it's not plugged in. We grab the plug. <laughs> And somebody's got a jumper on it, which suggests that the switch isn't working. You buy a car with 9,000 miles on it, and it's practically new, and you see this. So it, it just kind of is surprising, um, you know, how many other things are around that you don't know. So we're going to replace that um, and see if it helps the stalling issue. It may or may not, I don't know, but definitely uh, you don't want to be cranking the car and have it move forward while it's in gear. We're going to get it switched out. A couple clips to get to it where it's mounted, it pops out. This is the replacement part right here. And this was about $40. It's going to range different in price. But uh, I just got this out of the local Ford dealer. So we're going to switch it out and see if it works. So yeah, basically jumping it bypasses a switch um, to where it, uh, it uh, doesn't work in safe mode. Um, it will start in any position. We're going to get this corrected and uh, get it to where you can't start it in gear prevent any accidents and let's see if it helps with the stalling um that might be another issue i have going on but um i'm glad i found this i guess so we'll get it switched like i said so right away side by side the way they mount you can see there's definitely a difference in the plunger um let's put these on the floor yeah there they are side by side. And uh, what a big difference, right? So obviously it's why it wasn't working. Yeah, so basically you get it lined up, you get it in the slot and you push it back and it kind of locks itself in. So we're gonna unplug the, the jumper and then uh, We'll get this thing plugged in. So the plug only goes on one way. If you see that raised area on top, uh, it has a receiver, so you can't put it on. You can't put it on wrong. It's on a quick five minute switch out. I'm pretty sure that's that cure to fix. So that's that's a big score on this one. All right, man. Thanks guys. Thanks uh Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Take care.